What's up, everybody? Jackson here. Um, okay, so Christopher Castillo, he didn't, he didn't like my video so much where I, where I talked about he's an idiot and stuff. And so he has this comment, and it's just so fucking adorable. I had to share it with all of you, just in case no one did. And I'm sorry if this seems like I'm kicking a really stupid dead horse. And if it's annoying, I apologize. I'm not trying to fucking like. You know, I'm not trying to fucking drive this in anyone's faces or anything, but really, like, this is my point with this kid, all right? My main point with this kid is this is the, this kid is representative of all the people defending Destiny. Like, straight up, I'm sorry, dude. Like, they're all this stupid, okay? When I get comments on my channel, like, people talking shit on not only me, calling out my integrity, they always go for personal insults, okay? Because their argument holds no weight, and they fucking know that, right? And so, like, there's personal insults, they're fucking very, like, they're very rude. You can tell that a lot of them just are straight up making shit up, okay? These are the people that are representing Destiny, okay? And now, if, you, if you're taking this comment into the fucking, under the assumption, we'll run under the assumption that he's 100% telling the truth in this comment, okay? So if he's 100% telling the truth on this comment, then we already know... Well, after I read it, you'll understand a little bit better. But he mentions that he's making money off of his stream and shit, right? Like, tons of money. He's he's rich, this kid. He's, he's able to spend $500 plus on Destiny without breaking a fucking sweat. That's how much money this kid is making. So if we're running under the assumption that this kid's telling the truth, which he's obviously not. He's probably fucking 15 and he's just barely fucking realized what a boner is. And he got his first one over Destiny, so he's kind of fucking emotionally attached or something. But let's say that he's not. Let's say that this is a fucking, you know... Fully developed, grown adult male <laughs> with with you know these fucking these these streamers the, these people that are watching his stream that are just loving it so much they're giving him tons of money. Well, if he's streaming Destiny, then guess what? It makes sense that that's why he would defend Destiny, right? Destiny is paying for his fucking food. Destiny. This is, goes back to all of these fucking. This is the YouTube fuck boys, and this is hypocrisy on YouTube, and it's here more than ever. It's more than ever, it's apparent as fuck, okay? You can tell when someone's being paid by these fucking games, all right? Or, you know, and you don't have to necessarily get paid in cash. You can get paid in plane tickets out to fucking, you know, Bungie HQ with early access to the game, plus a bunch of free shit, plus free PS4s, and, you know, yeah, yeah. So, this is the problem. <coughs> These are the people that are representative of Destiny. So if it seems like I'm kicking a fucking dead horse, I apologize. I'm not meaning to. I'm not doing this for any other reason than I hate this game. I truly, truly hate this game. I hate what it represents. I hate what it could possibly mean. Okay? This is like the ultimate foreshadowing in my paranoid fucking stoner mind. All right, Destiny is the ultimate fucking foreshadowing, okay, of what is to come. So this kid, he's, it starts out, I'm just going to plow through this comment real quick, and then I'm going to take just a couple of things, fucking just talk about them real quick, and we'll continue on. Okay, he goes, Jackson's Trails. It's sad how all you do is cry over games. I at least spend money on games I love, but you cry about them. Fallout, you cry. Destiny, you cry. You are the 1% of people on the internet that get games to cry about that no one likes. Wow. By the way, you need to step off. <laughs> step off! Step off! <laughs> no matter how cool you think you are, you're not. Money-wise, you're nowhere close to me. <laughs> I've got dollar bills coming out of my nose, Jackson. You have no money. <laughs> Popularity, nowhere close. 28 Twitch followers is a fucking joke. And 250 subs and almost 500 videos? That's like a little kid spamming videos on different topics just to get known. By the way, <laughs> this is when it gets awesome. Okay, this is when he's saying some shit about you guys, all my subs, this is, he's talking shit on you here, he's saying that, by the way, thanks for the money, your shitty subs, 
But so first of all, he's calling all my subs shitty, which isn't fair because I've got a really intelligent subscriber list, Christopher. Okay, trust me, I know that because when I post a video talking shit about a topic and I lose five, six people, I understand that those five, six people, that was just the one thing they couldn't take anymore, right? They were cool with me talking shit when it was agreeable to their opinions, but not when I was talking shit because I'm just telling the fucking truth over here, Christopher. Nothing more. The fucking truth. That's all I've got. And if that is fucking me crying over games, then I guess I'm crying over games. Alright? And as for me buying games that no one likes to fucking cry about them, dude. Dude, really? Alright? I didn't buy Destiny so I could talk shit on it. I bought Destiny because I fucking loved it. Alright? And it was new and it was unique and it was fun. Alright? And it was everything that I fucking felt like I had been waiting for. And then it turned out that it was just like my old fucking heroin dealer, right? He'll give you some shit for free, but it's just a taste, right? And when you spend all your money on him, you're only getting, you know, a little fucking couple, third, you know, three, four balloons. What that's, what's that, right? So the comparison I'm making, Christopher, yes, is that fucking Bungie is like a fucking heroin dealer. They got you fucking hooked on a little taste. Of what was one of the best things that could have been the best thing, right? They got you hooked on just a little taste, right? And then what? They fucking slow bleed you to death, man. Get all that fucking money off of you, dude. <sighs> anyway, so none of my subs did this. This is where I, I can't even pretend you're telling the truth right here, Christopher. This is fucking ludicrous. He says... My sub, my shitty subs, went to his stream and donated to, in quotations, insult me. The three people weren't much, but it was free money. Thanks, retard. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, dude. No one on my channel went there to give you money. And if they did, they gave you, like, ten cents or something like that to be an asshole. If it was to insult you, I'm sure they were like, here, here's ten cents, you fucking idiot. Go fucking throw it in your piggy bank and save up for the next fucking soldier boy or whatever the fucking bullshit dance they do next. Anyway. <laughs> By the way, if you just had the slightest bit of common sense, the comment on the video about you complaining to Bungie isn't me just saying I spent money on a game I like. It was the fact that half the shit you said was false. Okay. He says it's false because of a magical thing called updating the game. Okay, fucking idiot. How is it false? Because everything I said was before I had... Without, dude, that, that video was recorded like fucking... I can't even remember, dude. But it was fucking... I hadn't touched the Taken King, right? I hadn't fucking touched it. I knew nothing about it, right? So you know what, bro? Everything I said in that video was fucking true because the magic of updating the game hadn't occurred yet, you fucked hard. Right? And what does that say about your logic? That they're fucking, there's this magical thing called updating the game. Motherfucker, what is development for? What is alpha testing for? What is beta testing for? Christopher, do you understand these fucking concepts? Do you understand how this is supposed to happen? No, you don't. Because like all these other fucking stupid tools, you've been fucking fooled into thinking that a game should constantly change. No, motherfucker. Good games stay the same. They're just good games. Right? And I understand that you gotta have updates to fucking... Because you're not prepared. You know, you can only prepare so much. Right? You can only prepare so much. There's going to be issues that pop up after you release your game. All right. But not a complete reworking of the game to the point where it's a completely different game, Christopher. So whatever you think I'm saying about Destiny now, I'm not saying it. Because, bitch, I haven't played fucking Destiny since fucking, like, for, I can't even think. You'll have to go Google, fucking go bungee net my name. And that'll tell you the last time I played that pile of shit. Right. So I'm not, I'm not involved in any of these magical updates that are going on, Christopher. And they're bullshit. Alright, they're bullshit. Alright, just to keep assholes like you fucking, Oh, what's new? What's changed? Break it back on and fucking see. Auto rifles got nerfed. 
but shotguns got buffed, shotguns got nerfed, raw rifles got buffed, fusion rifles got buffed, right? Right, dude? You're fucking, I, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. And then he, he says, he says, listen, listen, he's like, look at all the content you neglected to talk about, pretty much. And he says, and you cry about a G-horn like it's the only gun you're allowed to use. Bro, I didn't fucking ever cry about the G-horn, bro. It's just the perfect example of how fucking broken their loot system was in the beginning. My brother had like six, seven of those things that he straight ate. There were fucking three dudes, including myself, who were regular fucking raid fucking, you know, we were there at every raid. We never saw that motherfucker. All three of us, none of us ever got it until Zer had it, right? And as for him having it in week two, bro, Week two, right? I was starting to figure out the game, bro. I was still leveling alternate characters, bro. I wasn't ready to buy that fucking thing from Zer with Strange Coins. I didn't even fucking know what Strange Coins did at that point. It was week two. You fucking idiot. And that excuses them. That excuses them and their horrible loot system in fucking year one. Because they had a G-horn for fucking... Zer had the G-horn week two. Before most people knew what fucking Zer even was. They're forgiven then, Christopher. Fuck, you got me in a corner. Anyway. And then he says, By the way, if I wanted to, I could shut down this video anytime I want. Due to you using my real name and harassing me easily. But I'm not, because it's making me money. So GG. Okay. Well, Chris, I, I'm not the one who used your real name, bro. You're the one who used your real name. Okay, that's not my fault. You're fucking commenting on my video and I'm replying to you, sir. Christopher Castillo. Alright? That's your name on Google+. Alright? That is the name that comes up in my fucking video. Alright? So if you want to be called something else, bro, if you want a little anonymity and you don't want your fucking name out there, then maybe your fucking dumbass should go talk to your parents and have them help you do one of those name swappy things that you can do on the interwebs. And fucking change that shit. Because that's not on me, dude. But if you want, just fucking go ahead. Have it taken down, dude. I really don't give a fuck. I have it saved. I'll upload that bitch again. Alright? I'll upload that bitch again. And again. And again. And again. Alright? I don't give a fuck, dude. I'll start a new channel. All right. I don't give a fuck, bro. Cuz that's not wrong in my opinion. Like I've done nothing wrong. I've responded to your to the name that was on my fucking replies on my comments. All right. You commented on my video with that name, bro. All right. I didn't fucking like Google that shit. I didn't fucking like hunt for that shit. It's plain and apparent right there. Right fucking there, dude, in the comments. If you, if you, you know, you're welcome, Chris, for all the money you're making off of me. <laughs> you're welcome. And, like, I, I just hope someday I could be as popular and successful as you, dude. Like, that's where I want to be. You know, like, when I see myself in fucking five, six years, I just see this image of me, you know standing right next to you on this mountain of absolute stupidity and we can be one together and we can defend shitty games that lie and are fucking awful you know what i mean oh that takes you back the fallout thing dude i i like fallout bro i like fallout everyone knows i like fallout i have plenty of videos where i talk about how good fallout is okay but if a fucking if they're gonna fucking make a game that has broken quests, well, I'm gonna, and I experience those quests, well, I'm gonna make a video saying, hey, yo, this game has broken quests. And then if they say, well, here's a patch update fixing it, and then they release an update that doesn't fix it, well, I'm gonna say, hey, you you didn't fix it. That was a lie. All right. Doesn't mean I hate the game. Doesn't mean in my estimation the game ain't worth sixty bucks, Christopher. All right. It's just it's the truth that I'm doing over here, bro. That's it for me, guys. I love you. All of my shitty subs, I fucking love you guys. You're the shit. You're the shit subs. <laughs> uh, that's it for me. I'm out of here.